long time ago, there was a beautiful orange grove that produced the finest oranges in the land. It nestled on the slopes of a remote mountain area and the grove was tended by the villagers who lived in a small village at the bottom of the orange grove. The oranges were their livelihood. They picked them carefully, tended the trees, took the oranges to market. Everything was good until one day a cloud of dust appeared on the horizon which got closer and closer and closer. And as it arrived at the village, I could see it was made up of hundreds of horsemen and wagons and what looked like farmers. The villagers watched as they saw the farmers come in through the village and up into the orange grove where, to the villagers' amazement, the farmers who just arrived started to pick the oranges. What are they doing, picking our oranges? They got together, got their weapons, and ran into the orange groves to com confront the incomers. What are you doing here, they said, stealing our oranges? Well, the incoming farmers said, well, we're here because the king has given these orange groves, which are the finest in the land, to our duke, and he sent us to pick the oranges. Uh, so that's what we're doing. What are you doing? Well, the villagers couldn't quite understand this, as far as they knew, this had always been their orange groves, and no matter what the king said, it was definitely theirs, and, and what were they to do if somebody else stole their oranges? A fight ensued, and after a while, a position of stalemate happened, where the incoming farmers put a fence around the orange groves, and the villagers attacked it. Whilst this happened, the oranges ripened in the sun, fell to the ground, and started to rot. Just so happened, a travelling wise man appeared in the village on his travels. He'd been to the village many times before, and he was struck by how different it looked on this particular day. The normal happiness and singing and busyness was absent. The village elder imp implored the wise men to come and help. He said, these people have stolen our, our birthright and our property. We, we're going to die unless we get our oranges back. You must tell them to go. The wise men listened to the story from the villagers and understood that this was difficult. He then went to talk to the incoming farmers. They said, well, you know, we, we, this is our, our land, we, we need this. this is, the king has told us that we can come here and these people have attacked us. We, we feel insulted and, and, and put upon by these hostile villagers. The wise man thought for a minute, then he asked one question. He turned to the villagers and he said, what do you want by picking the oranges? villagers said, we need the orange juice, we sell it at the market, we make alcohol from it, we drink it, we trade in it, we need the orange juice, it's the finest orange juice in the land, we have to have it. The wise man understood. He turned to the farmers who'd just recently come to the orange grove, and he was surprised to see a smile developing on the farmer's face. He said, why are you smiling? The farmer said, I think we can work together because we've come all this way specifically because the Duke makes marmalade with orange skins. That's the only part of the orange that we need. The farmer and the villagers realised, of course, when they thought they were in conflict, they realised now they weren't. They could work together and both get exactly what they wanted. <laughs>